This video is really just a spur of the moment deciding to do this video right now to point out how Luke Smith is a noob. Saying that completely jokingly, uh, he does great videos. But I just watched his latest video. His latest video, he showed how you can get uh, uh, animated GIFs or GIFs, whatever you want to call them, from a radar uh, website, a weather website, so you can see the animation of local radar. Uh, and for example, I've already downloaded one. And then he used MPV to open up that file, for example, like this. And, you know, that's cool and all, but you're using a GUI interface. Why would you do that when you could do everything right in the terminal? So let's go ahead and do that right right in our shell, okay? So I, I have a few files in here. I have the, the animated GIF that we just looked at, and then we have uh, a picture of me and an animation of me. So we're going to do it in the shell, like as if we don't have a GUI interface, uh, which means we're going to have to do stuff as ASCII art. Now, one of the most common ASCII art uh, programs I've seen for viewing images, I I'm assuming it's pronounced caca view <laughs> it's in your repositories and you can give it an image like this one of me uh, a JPEG and it opens it up but it still opens it up in a separate window but I think it would normally uh, you can get it to go internal but it looks horrible you can barely tell that's me right so I can quit out of that it does gifts but it doesn't animate them again you can see that's me but it's 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 just hard to see it's it's not very pretty well there's another program called Chaffa, I would assume how you say it. Uh, it's, it should be in your repositories. This is my repositories for my Debian distro. And I can give it, for example, that JPEG of me. And look right here in the shell without opening a separate window. And it looks pretty good. But the thing is, the higher, um, more characters you have in your shell, the better it looks. So if I shrink my font down really low and run that again, wow. This is being done right in my shell. I can do this. Now, if I did this without Xorg, I'm not going to be able to get that high of a resolution, but still, it's going to look pretty good. And I don't need any GUI interface. I can, I can log into a headless uh, um, server and run this and get it looking like this in my shell. And you know what? If you give it, let me zoom in here so you can see what I'm typing. The same thing, I'll give it the animated GIF or GIF of me. And again, I'll make the resolution a little bit higher here. Eh, it's going to run a little slow for uh, if I do it that high, but it's looking pretty good, right? So let me go ahead and, and you can see it's starting to animate it. Let's uh, bump up the resolution, or I guess lower the resolution a little bit. There we go. There we go. So right in my shell, no GUI interface, I can get this little animation of me going. And again, if I uh, shrink down the resolution here and run it again, let's see if it runs any smoother. Once it loads, give it a second to load. Oh, you know, I actually increased the resolution. Again, uh, I'm not very prepared for this video. So I'm going to increase my um, font size here. Run that again. There you go. Now the animation's good. And it's still a lot better than that Kaka viewer. Um, and let's go ahead and just for fun, run our little radar here. Right there. Again, if I make it a little bit higher resolution, there we go. And if I do it even more, Run it again. You can actually start to read the words on the screen. Look at that. That almost looks as good as running the uh, GIF right in MPV, but it's running in my shell without a GUI interface, proving that Luke Smith is a noob for using a GUI interface to display something simple like that. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Films at Chris.com. That's Chris with a K. Have a great day.